Tony here with another video to help you out. There's a lot of videos out here on these uh, easy go golf carts uh, on how to change the oil, but nothing very thorough. So I figured I'd make a quick video show you how to change the oil in this 295cc easy go golf cart. Here's a quick shot of the golf cart. Again, today we're going to be looking at changing the oil in the 295cc unit. I've got the seat off, and as you'll see down here, this is a pretty easy process. What we're going to do is we try to get the camera in here at a good angle at the bottom of this motor. You're going to see right here there's a triangular plate with three bolts. That's your oil filter. That is also how you're going to drain the oil in this motor. You remove those three bolts, and there'll be an oil filter that'll pop out. So if you give me a couple of seconds, I'm going to remove those three bolts, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. Now you'll see I've got these three bolts out from below in the machine. You see it's a little dirty so it's caked on there so I'm going to get a little pry bar to pull that off. Here's what the bolts look like that come off. There's three 10 millimeter bolts. So if you get a little ratchet similar to this you just put it down there and you can take all three bolts off. So you'll see down here I got a little bit of a screwdriver to try to pry against this to remove it. You'll see now if you look underneath there the oil starting to drain out. So what we want to do is we want to pull this out, which I'll show you. You can see that oil's in terrible shape. Uh, there's also a black O-ring on there. You don't want to lose that. You're going to re need to, to re either reuse that O-ring or get a new one, and I highly suggest you get a new one, and I'll go over that when I get this filter out. You'll see I've got the filter removed, and now you'll see the oil's really draining out. We're going to clean all that out. Use a little uh, brake cleaner to get all that cleaned out. Pull that O-ring and uh, we'll get this uh, new filter installed. While this is continuing the drain, you wanna go ahead and remove the oil fill cap, let some air in there and get the rest of that oil out. Set that aside, got your oil fill. And while we're looking at that, I'll show you the new filter. This is the new filter I purchased online. You can get it from uh, just about any retailer you want on either Amazon, eBay, any golf cart uh, aftermarket stores. That's the filter housing. And then this is the new O-ring that we are going to replace, which I'll show you in a few minutes. Okay, now it's time to remove the O-ring now that the oil's draining out. And uh, I grabbed this little dental tool here. This is a great little tool to remove O-rings and gaskets when you get into hard to places. So let me show you how I'm gonna do this. I'll get this camera positioned so you can see it. I'm gonna take this uh, dental pick and I will pry this O-ring out and get ready for the new one. So you should be able to see me trying to do that. So I like to get it out. Just kind of go around, you can pull it, catch it before it goes in the oil pan. I like to inspect it. And then we're gonna go ahead and pop the new one in. Next thing you're gonna wanna do is go ahead and get a rag and clean the face. You wanna get any dirt or debris that are in there to remove it. And you want to clean out that little section with the O-ring. Okay, now, you see I set this O-ring right here. We need to go ahead and install the new O-ring. What you're going to want to do, though, is you want to get a little bit of oil on that O-ring. So, if you give me one second, I'm going to put this uh, camera down, and then I'm going to oil it up, and then I'll show you how to install it. Okay, I went ahead and put some oil on this O-ring and just slipped it inside of that little groove. It's very simple. You just want to take a little fresh oil, and then get that uh, O-ring nice and lubed up. You can dip it in the old oil, put new oil, whichever one you want to use, and then just slide that O-ring right into the groove. And you'll see right here, this camera, so you can get a better angle. It just pushes in. You just slide, rub your finger around it like this, and it'll go right back in. You want to make sure you got a good clean surface. And then now we're going to reinstall this new oil filter that I got. So we'll just slide the oil filter in that hole, like so. So you kind of get the angle where you're at right there. This will just slide in. You'll see right here, push it in there. You'll get your 10 millimeter bolts. I like to get one started. Kind of see with the camera, if you can get it from that angle see right there. 
It's a little tricky to get it to, to get it started. Once you get it started, you can get the other two in. The trick here, if you do it a couple times, is not to drop it in the oil. I've done that a few times. It just gets a little messy. So once you get one in, just kind of want to work your way. I like to go in a, a cross pattern. So I'll try to get the second one in. I think you can kind of see it from here. Tighten the second one. And again, I just loosely tighten them until I get all three of them in, and then I will torque them down. And obviously you want to, uh, you don't want to over tighten them. This is aluminum and you will strip them. I don't know offhand what the torque spec is, so I'm just gonna tighten them hand tight. You do have an O-ring seal, so you don't need to uh, see how strong you are tightening these things on there with your big muscles, okay? You get them hand tight and we'll get the socket on there and I'll just uh, torque them down to get this to seal on the O-ring. So let me do that real quick and I'll be right back. Okay, you'll see. You get your ratchet on here and you'll snug these up like I did. I'm just gonna check them one more time. All three of them are nice and snugged up. You'll notice here you're, you're sealed. And now what I'm gonna show you how to do is to add the oil and then we'll check it for leaks. Okay, I like to use a small funnel here so you don't spill it. We got the oil cap off, showed you that earlier. Just gonna drop that in there. And I've got a uh, fresh quart of oil. We'll uh, go ahead and put it in there. I'm um, using the uh, Castrol 1030, uh, 10W30 oil. Show you a glimpse of that on here. Just regular non-conventional, you know, conventional, no, no synthetic here, just using the regular 1030 motor oil. So go ahead and just start pouring that in and uh, should take just over uh, right around a quart of oil. So I'll show you how to add it in here and then we'll check the dipstick so you'll see once that goes down you have your dipstick on the side here you just pull your dipstick out which i've already done and cleaned it off and you'll see right here try to get a good view of it you've got a few lines you've got the first line which is low you've got the next line which you'll see is kind of add and then you've got the f at the top you want to have it between the middle and the top line to get it full and i'll keep adding oil in here and we'll get it done Okay, I got the oil all in here. I ended up using, uh, again, the uh, GTX conventional 10W30 weight, and I used one quart and three quarters of another, so about one and three quarters quart. Uh, again, you just want to check the dipstick once you pull it out, and uh, look at your marks. Kind of hard to see with this camera, but you'll see it's on the full. And uh, just take your funnel out, obviously. Put your cap back on. And that'll conclude the, uh, the oil change. I just wanted to take a minute to go over some of the tools that we used. Again, we just used a basic ratchet for the three bolts. This is a 10 millimeter. There are three 10 millimeter bolts. We used the uh, dental pick to get out the O-ring gasket. And then I just used a very small flat bladed screwdriver to uh, pull that filter out. So basically three tools gets that job done. Thanks for watching the video, and uh, I hope you learned something on here. If there's any questions, let me know. Again, this was the EasyGo. It's a 2001 model gas-powered golf cart with a 295cc engine on it. Thanks for watching. If you liked the video, hit like and subscribe. Thanks.